English conversation. Most common questions and answers in English. On sale. Do you like my new coat? It looks terrific. I'm glad you like it. How much was it? Eighty dollars. That's a good price. Yeah, it was on sale. Where did you get it? At Sears. I like to shop there too. They always have really good sales. Maybe you should go there today. They have a sale on the shirt if you're interested. Good idea. I need some. Not a cloud in the sky. What a beautiful day. Yes. There's not a cloud in the sky. What's the temperature? It's at seventy degrees. I love October. Me too. It's not too hot and not too cold. Fall is my favorite season. Mine too. The weather is almost perfect. And the leaves are very pretty when they change colors. Cold and windy. Is it cold out? Yes, it's cold and windy. I'm going to wear a heavy coat. Good idea. Where are you going? To the post office. Why? To mail this package. Would you buy some stamps for me? Sure. How many do you want? Ten. Here's the money for the stamps. Okay, I'll be back in twenty minutes unless I get blown away. It's beginning to snow. Do you like snow? No, I hate it. Why? Snow is so pretty. Yes, but I don't like to drive in it. Well, it's beginning to snow. And I have to drive to work. How far is it to work? Six miles. Are we going to get a lot of snow? About twelve inches, they say. Oh no! Driving will be dangerous. Please be careful. I will. By the way, can I borrow your car? A house at the shore. When is your vacation? It starts next week. Where are you going? We're renting a house on the shore. That's wonderful. Yes, we love the ocean. Do you swim a lot? Not very much. Then why are you going to the shore? 
Because we all bought new swimsuits. A soccer game. I'm going to play soccer. Who are you playing with? Some friends from work. Are you a good soccer player? Yes, but I'm not the best player on the team. What time does the game begin? Nine o'clock. Why don't you come with me? I can't today. I'm very busy. Okay. See you later. I hope your team wins! Not so young. My son is graduating from high school today. And my daughter is graduating next year. How old is she? She's 16. I remember when she was a baby. I know. We're getting old. Don't say that. Why not? It's true. No, it isn't. We were young when we got married. That's right. But we got married 25 years ago. Is she single? Today is my cousin's birthday. What's your cousin's name? Kathy. I'm going to her house after dinner. How old is she? She's 24. Hmm, she's my age. Is she pretty? Yes, she's very nice too. Is she single? No, she's married and has two children. Oh, that's too bad. Not for her. <laughs> To buy a birthday present. What are you getting Jim for his birthday? I don't know yet. You can always get him a shirt. But I got him one last year. Oh, that's right. Let me think. I want to get him something different. How about a briefcase? Good idea! His briefcase is getting old. And it's something he'll use every day. Of course. Why didn't I think of that? Telephone. Hello? Hello, is Mary there? I'm sorry, you have the wrong number. Oh, is this 2346789? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. A light eater. Would you like anything else? You haven't eaten very much. No thanks. I'm already full. 
Oh, come on. Have some more. No, I really can't. I've never been much of an eater. Have some coffee, then. That would be nice. How do you take it? With sugar, please. No cream. Here you are. Thank you. A nice flat. This is a nice flat. Mm. There's a living room, there's a kitchen, a bedroom, and a bathroom. And there's a bidet! What's a bidet? It's like a toilet, only better. I'll let you figure it out. Well, none of my friends have a bidet, and even if I don't know what it is, they will be jealous when I tell them. Well, here's the kitchen. Hmm. It's very small. Yes, it isn't very large. But there are a cooker and a fridge. There are some cupboards under the sink. Are there any plates? Yes, there are. Good. Are there any chairs in here? No, there aren't. But uh, there are some in the living room. Hmm. There aren't any glasses. Yes, there are. They're in the cupboard. And, uh, where's the toilet? Afraid of flying. Where is your meeting? In Dallas, Texas. How are you getting there? By plane. Do you like to fly? Sure, it's fast and comfortable. I'm afraid of flying. That's silly. Flying is very safe. Maybe, but... I don't feel safe on a plane. I understand. A lot of people feel that way. A plan reservation. I'd like to reconfirm my plane reservation. What flight are you taking? Flight 207. And your name, please? Henry Chandler. Yes, sir. You're booked on flight 207. Please check in at the airport an hour before flight time. Thank you. Getting together. Are you free Friday night? I might not be in town. I'm not sure yet. A friend suggested I go to Vancouver. Well, a few of us are getting together, and I thought you might want to come too. What are you thinking of doing? We're not sure yet. We might go to a bar, but we'll probably go to see AI. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Well, 
Come then. Sure, I'll, uh, if I'm in town, I'll let you know. How's your new job going? Oh, Miss Wallace, long time no see. How are you? Good, thank you. How's your new job? I started working today. How does it seem so far? It's demanding, but I'm happy to be working. What's your boss like? He appears to be very thoughtful and kind, but they all do at first. I guess we'll have to see. Well, I wish you the best of luck. Thanks. Take care. We eat a lot. Did you see my car keys? They're on top of the TV. You're right, thanks. Where are you going? To the supermarket. Again? Yes, we eat a lot. Do you want me to go with you? Sure, if you want. Good, the packages will be heavy. There is a new health store right up the road. Maybe, since you guys eat a lot, you should try and eat more healthily. Maybe you're right. We have all put on a little weight. I'll take you. Diana! Oh, George. Hi, how are you? Listen, I'm in a terrible hurry. The bank closes in 20 minutes. Is your bank near here? Yes, it's only four blocks away on Vine Street. Well, get in. I'll take you. Are you sure? It's not out of your way? No, not at all. That is so nice of you, George. Thank you. You're welcome. We must be out of them. <laughs> Hi. Sorry, I'm late. I missed the bus. Oh, that's okay. I had time to clean up before you came. You don't look very good. I must be getting a cold. I've been sneezing all day. Uh, uh. Achoo! Bless you. Thank you. You must be getting a cold. Why don't you go lie down? I'll bring you some aspirin. I don't see any aspirin in the medicine cabinet. We must be out of them. I'll go to the drugstore. Is there anything else we need? Could you get some... I don't know if they sell a chew there, but I'll check. Doctor's appointment. When can I see Dr. No? 
He won't be free until tomorrow. Can I make an appointment? Sure. How about tomorrow at ten o'clock? Can you make it at nine o'clock? I'll check to see if he's available. I'm sorry, but he's tied up until ten o'clock. Well, can't you squeeze me in somehow? I'm afraid not. How about after lunch? Will one o'clock be all right? That's perfect. Thank you. Eating out. Waiter, could we have the bill, please? Can I put it all in one bill? No, we prefer separate checks. Your bill's eighteen dollars. That seems expensive. Would you check it again, please? Sorry, ma'am. This is your friend's bill. Here is yours. It is twenty-four dollars and sixteen cents. To buy a bus ticket. Excuse me. Yes, can I help you? Yes, I'd like some information about buses, please. Where to? To Toronto. When? This Saturday. Morning or afternoon? In the afternoon, about three o'clock. There is one at three twenty. That sounds perfect. I'll take it. On the phone. Good morning, Scott and Smith's law office. May I help you? Yes. May I speak to David Waller, please? I'm sorry, he isn't here yet. May I take a message? Could you ask him to call Marjorie Vale? How do you spell your last name? V A L E. What's your phone number, or does Mr. Waller have it? Uh, no, he doesn't. It's uh four five six five six seven eight. I'm sorry. Could you repeat that? Four five six five six seven eight. I'll give him the message. Thank you. You're welcome. Operating room. Mrs. Martin, I'm Doctor Thomas. Oh, Doctor, how is he? Well, I'm afraid we'll have to operate. Oh no, he's always been afraid of operations. Don't worry. If we operate now, he'll be all right. Oh, doctor, do you really have to? I'm afraid so. He has lost a lot of blood. If we don't operate, he'll die. Oh, please just do whatever you have to. A car loan. I want to go to the bank this afternoon. 
I'll drive you there. Thanks, I'm going to apply for a loan. Why do you need a loan? I have to buy a new car. What's wrong with your car? It won't start, and it's ten years old. How much will a new car cost? About $15,000. Wow, that's a lot of money. I know, that's why I need a loan. A cashier. What kind of work do you do? I'm a cashier at a supermarket. Do you like your job? No, it's not very interesting. And you don't make much money. That's right, I make very little. I think you should look for another job. I am, but it's not easy to find one. Keep looking. You'll get one. Thanks. I hope you're right. Setting down. How are you settling in? Oh. We're still in a bit of a mess, but Lisa seems to like it here. That's good. Is there a garden for her to play in? Yes, it's not very big, but we've got a small swimming pool. Have you found a school for Gary? Yes, there's one near here. It only takes five minutes by car. That's good. So you like it here, do you, Neil? Yes, it's a very good place for my children. Will you get some bread for me? Is there a bakery near here? Yes, you can get there in five minutes. That's good. I don't have much time. Why are you going to the bakery? To buy a birthday cake. Whose birthday is it? My daughter's. She's ten. That's nice. Will you get some bread for me? Sure. Do you want anything else? No, thanks. I'll pay you when you get back. Buying a present in a jeweler's shop. I'm trying to find a wedding anniversary present for my wife. Yes, sir. What exactly are you looking for? I'm not sure, really. Perhaps you can help me. Right. I'll show you some pendants? No, I bought a pendant for her birthday. Maybe a necklace, then. These necklaces are made of gold. Yes. I like this one. What's the stone? It's a ruby, sir. And it's only $1,200. Ah, well, perhaps you could show me some bracelets, then. Buying a present in a toy shop. Good morning.
Perhaps you can advise me. Yes, ma'am. I'm looking for a toy for my niece. Oh, yes. How old is she? She'll be seven years old on Sunday. Skateboards are very popular. Mm, I don't want her to hurt herself. What about a Barbie doll set? I don't think so. She has many Barbie dolls. Have you got anything educational? You see, she's a very intelligent girl. I've got the perfect thing. A do-it-yourself kit where you can build your own Barbie doll who rides a skateboard. Making a reservation. Can I get some tickets for plays? Yes, is there a specific play that you want to see? What plays are on tonight? Cats, but it's sold out. Are there any seats left for tomorrow night? Yes, how many tickets do you want? Two, please. Where would you like to sit? I'm not sure. Well, here's a seating plan for the concert hall. How much is the middle section? Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? That's a little expensive for us. How much is it in the back? Thirty-five dollars. That's fine. What time does the play start? At seven o'clock. What time will the play be over? At 9.30. Ready to go. Are you ready? Grace is still in her room. She needs to rush. We don't have enough time. What time does the movie begin? It starts at 7.30. What's the time now? It's about 7.10. There's no hurry. It only takes 10 minutes by car to get there. I know, but there aren't enough parking spaces around the theater. Well, I'd better tell Grace to hurry up. She can take hours to get ready. An interesting movie. I thought that the movie was terrific, didn't you? I don't know. It didn't seem to have any meaning. Come on, it seems that you expect intellectual stimulation from every movie. I just think that it's a good movie. It should have a central theme, at least. Yes, but it doesn't hurt you to watch a funny movie once in a while. Relax and enjoy it. You're right. I'm too serious sometimes. In the bus. I see you're reading Harry Potter. Do you like it? I can't put it down. Have you read it? Yes, in fact, I just finished it. The ending's great. Don't tell me. I only have 50 pages to go. Okay, I won't tell you who dies. 
Don't tell me anything. Okay, but I'm biting my tongue. Good, bite hard. Such a shame, though. What is? That Harry dies. Ah! <laughs> A new job. Mr. Adams, have you seen this ad in the recruit news? Yes, I saw it, but I'm not interested in finding a new job. I've been here since I graduated from my university. I like working here. Really? I've only been here for one year, and I'm already tired of doing the same thing every day. I'm afraid of getting really bored. Oh, come on, it's not that bad. Wherever you work, you have to do the same thing every day to a certain degree. Well, what's more, I've been working about ten hours a day since last month. But you've been getting paid more money for it, haven't you? Yes, but I'm not interested in making more money. I'm going to apply for another job. What kind of job? A secretarial job. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Smoking. Do you smoke? I've never known that. When did you start smoking? I started smoking when I was 18. So, how long have you been a smoker? I've smoked for 20 years. How many cigarettes do you smoke a day? I smoked two packs of cigarettes a day. Have you ever tried to quit? Yes, I have quit twice. Once when I was expecting my baby, Paul, and the other time when I had a bad sore throat. <coughs> but I had a hard time. <coughs> if you knew what it was doing to your lungs, you would think twice about it. A death. Did you hear about the Smith family? No. What happened? Mrs. Smith passed away this morning. That's a shame. What from? Heart attack, I think. That's a terrible thing. Yes. Mrs. Smith went into the hospital last night by ambulance and died this morning. Had she been suffering from heart disease? Yeah. Mrs. Smith had it for five years before she died. Did they try surgery? <sighs> she had two operations, but... They weren't effective. I feel sorry for Mr. Smith. A birth. Have you heard about the good news in the Wallace family? No, I've been out of town. Mrs. Wallace went into the hospital last night and gave a birth to a baby girl seven hours later. That's very good, but they already have a little girl, don't they? No, they have a five-year-old boy. So they wanted a girl this time, right? Yes, they wanted a girl for a long time. 
Was it a natural childbirth? No, she had to have a C-section. A coincidence. Teresa! What a surprise! What are you doing here? Timothy! I don't believe it! I'm going to see my daughter. She will marry this weekend. How about you? I'm going to visit my parents. When is your daughter's wedding? Sunday. Wow! This Sunday is the 45th wedding anniversary of their wedding, too. This is a surprise. Anyway, where is your train leaving from? My train leaves from Platform 3, over there. How long will you... Now leaving from Platform 3, train for Vancouver. That's my train! I have to run. Sorry we didn't have more time to talk. That's okay. I'll see you when you get back. Have a good time, and say congratulations to your parents. How have you been? Raymond! Oh, hi, Grace. How have you been? Good. I hear you've been in Toronto for a few days. Yes, I just got back yesterday. Did you have a nice visit? Really nice. It was very good for going around downtown and shopping. And I saw the Toronto Blue Jays game at Sky Dome. I see that Toronto is a very exciting city. My brother Stanley was there, too. You've met Stanley, haven't you? Sure. I met him when he was here in Hamilton last year. What's he doing these days? Still teaching baseball? Yes. As a matter of fact, he just began to teach elementary school. Great! How's everything with his kids? Have you met my nieces? Yes, they visited you once in the summer, didn't they? Right. They're both fine. I haven't seen them in a long time. They must be really big. Well, they will come over this Christmas. Let's have a great Christmas party together. That's a good idea! Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment on my video. Please, subscribe to Learn English with Jessica channel to watch more helpful videos. Goodbye!